Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. We have learnt the anti-metabolite anti-cancer drugs in the last class. The link is given in the description below this video. Watch it. In today's class, we discuss the antibiotic anti-neoplastic agents. After this lesson, you will be able to learn the antibiotic anti-cancer agents, their classification, chemistry, mechanism of action and uses of dactinomycin, donorubicin, doxorubicin and bleomycin. Coming to the introduction, a large number of antibiotics isolated from a variety of microbes and representing several chemical classes are very effective in the treatment of cancer and are collectively known as the anti-tumor antibiotics. These include dactinomycin, anthracyclines such as doxorubicin and donorubicin, the analogues idorubicin and epirubicin and the related anthracene derivative mitoxantrone. Other anti-tumor antibiotics include bleomycin and mitomycin. Dactinomycin, anthracene antibiotics, bleomycin and mitomycin are all diverse antibiotic substances isolated from a variety of streptomyces species which are too toxic to be used as antimicrobial drugs but are widely used in the chemotherapy of cancer. Doxorubicin, donorubicin and epirubicin belong to the group called anthracyclines. Idarubicin and mitoxantrone are derivatives of anthracyclines. All the drugs mentioned in the previous slide are used in the treatment of cancer but not used to treat the general or common infections. These drugs bind with the DNA to produce tumor destroying effects. They block cellular processes in normal and malignant cells. The first individual drug, Dactinomycin. Dactinomycin, previously called Actinomycin D, is a naturally occurring antibiotic that was first isolated from Streptomyces parvulus in 1953 and was shown to be an effective anti-cancer agent in children. It is also known as a chromopeptide antibiotic as it contains a tricyclic phenoxazine 3 own which imparts the dactinomycin and its derivatives yellow to red color. The drug possesses two identical cyclic pentapeptide side chains and the chromophoric 2 amino phenoxazine 3 own ring system bearing two methyl groups at C4 and C6. The amino acids in the composition of dactinomycin are L-threonine, D-valine, D-proline, N-methylglycine and L-N-methylvalin. The hydroxyl group of L-threonine forms part of the lactone along with L-methylvalin. It is a bright red, somewhat hygroscopic crystalline powder. The biological activity and cytotoxicity of actinomycins is due to their capacity to bind with the double helical DNA. As a result of a stable dactinomycin DNA complexation, the formation of DNA dependent RNA polymerase and so the transcription of the DNA molecule are blocked. The chromophore including the two carboxyls is termed actinosin so as actinomycin can be described as an actinosinyl bis pentapeptide lactone. The structure shown here is the general structure for the 18 naturally occurring actinomycins. In the structure, MEVAL stands for N-methylvaline, SAR for N-methylglycine and A, B, C, D, E and F letters are the different amino acids that signifies different or individual actinomycins. This is the list of the structures of 18 naturally occurring actinomycins. The structural differences among the actinomycins are in the two peptide side chains. Changes in the amino acid composition of the peptide chains influence the biological activity. Numerous other actinomycins have also been described but they are less well characterized structurally than those included in the table given. Structure activity relationship of actinomycins For biological activity mimicking the natural actinomycins, the chromophore and both intact cyclopeptide moieties are required. 
even the scission of one peptide lactone abolishes biological activity. Some actinosinyl derivatives bind to DNA but are found to be inactive. The importance of the chromophoric 2 amino groups is illustrated by the lack of biological activity when it is replaced by hydrogen, hydroxyl or chloride or it is acylated. Substitution in the chromophoric 7 position produces a variety of effects. Synthetic variations at the threonine sites of actinomycin involving replacement of serine L2,3-diaminopropionic acid or L2,2-diamino-N-butyric acid gave antimicrobial activities of about 20%, 10% and 10% respectively of that of actinomycin D. Replacement of both methylvalin residues by methyl leucine produced much stronger binding to DNA than actinomycin D and this analog was at least 10 times more potent than actinomycin D. The mechanism of action appears to favor interactions with guanine cytosine base pairs and in particular between two adjacent guanine bases on alternate strands of the helix. The molecule is further held in position by hydrogen bond interactions between nucleic acid bases of DNA and the cyclic pentapeptides positioned on the outside of the helix. The two amino group of guanine plays an important role in this interaction. The resulting bound complex is very stable and prevents the unwinding of the double helix. This in turn prevents DNA dependent RNA polymerase from catalyzing the synthesis of messenger RNA and thus prevents transcription. Dactinomycin is used in the treatment of various solid tumors and muscle related cancers. It is most effective in the treatment of rhabdomyosarcoma and Wilms tumor which is a kidney tumor in children as well as in the treatment of choriocarcinoma, Ewing sarcoma, Kaposi sarcoma and testicular carcinoma. Anthracycline antibiotics Anthracycline antibiotic Donorubicin was discovered in 1963 and the related antibiotic Doxorubicin was obtained in 1969. They occur as glycosides of anthracyclinones. Anthracyclinone refers to an aglycone that is a non-sugar moiety containing the anthraquinone chromophore within a linear hydrocarbon skeleton related to that of tetracyclines. The beta-glycosidic linkage with the sugar L-danosamine is through hydroxyl group at position 10. Through donorubicin in which the aglycone is donomycinone and doxorubicin in which the aglycone is adriamycinone differ only by a single hydroxyl group at position attached to alpha carbon of the acetyl function at position 8 but they have differences in their clinical profiles. The hydroxyl group of 8-hydroxy acetyl group of doxorubicin makes it less susceptible to reduction of the 8-side chain ketocarbonyl group. However, the hydroxy derivative doxorubicinol or adriamycinol is found among the metabolites. Both the donorubicinol and doxorubicinol are active against neoplastic cells but their rates of uptake are low. The clinical value of these anthracycline antibiotics is limited by their cardiac toxicity. Anthracyclines display a number of biochemical effects. They can intercalate with DNA. Many functions of DNA are affected including DNA and RNA synthesis. In contrast to actinomycins, anthracyclines are metabolized in liver. Donorubicin is readily converted into its hydroxy analog that is donorubicinol which is further cleaved to the egg glycone. The first drug of this class is donorubicin. Donorubicin is an antibiotic produced by Streptomyces pyocytias. It contains a tetracyclic system where three of the rings are planar. Donorubicin lacks the hydroxyl group at C14 of doxorubicin. This leads to an increase in the amount of alcohol metabolite that is donorubicinol which is an active compound arising as a result of reduction of the side chain ketone. This however does not appear to lead a significant increase in the occurrence of cardiotoxicity compared with doxorubicin.
Donorubicin hydrochloride is an orange red hygroscopic crystalline powder. It is freely soluble in water. It is stored in airtight containers and protected from light. The mechanisms of resistance and toxicities are similar to that of doxorubicin. The major difference between the two agents being the spectrum of cancers that they are used to treat. The agent is given intravenously for the treatment of acute non-lymphocytic and lymphocytic leukemia. Other unlabeled uses include chronic myelogenous leukemia and Kaposi sarcoma. In general, its use is more limited than that of doxorubicin. The next drug is doxorubicin. Doxorubicin, originally named adriamycin, is an antibiotic obtained from cultures of Streptomyces peocytius in 1967. It is the hydroxylated analogue of donorubicin. Metabolism involves reduction of the C13 ketone to yield doxorubicinol which is found to be an active compound along with cleavage of the amino sugar to give the egg glycone. The charged amino group attached to the sugar is also important as it forms an ionic bond with the negatively charged phosphate groups of the DNA backbone. This is supported by the fact that structures lacking the amino sugar have a poor activity. Doxorubicin hydrochloride is an orange-red hygroscopic crystalline powder. It is soluble in water and is stored in airtight containers. Coming to its mechanism of action, doxorubicin and other anthracyclines induce cytotoxicity through several different mechanisms. For example, doxorubicin-derived free radicals can induce membrane lipid peroxidation, DNA strand scission, and direct oxidation of purine or pyrimidine bases, thiols, and amines. Doxorubicin interacts with molecular oxygen producing superoxide ions and hydrogen peroxide as shown in the figure which causes single strand breaks in DNA. Doxorubicin has uses similar to those of donorubicin but it is effective against a wider range of tumors. It is used in conjunction with other antineoplastic agents in the treatment of acute leukemia, lymphomas, sarcomas, neuroblastoma, Wilms tumor, and malignant neoplasms of the bladder, breast, lung, ovary, and thyroid. And the last drug is bleomycin. Bleomycin is a mixture of glycopeptides, thus they are complex molecules. They are isolated from the microorganism Streptomyces verticillus. The preparation known as bleomycin sulfate consists of a mixture of glycopeptide bases namely A2, A2I, B124 etc. where A2 is the predominant component. Despite the size and complexity of the molecule, particularly with regard to the number of chiral centers, the first total synthesis of bleomycin was reported in 1982. Bleomycins differ from other chemotherapeutic agents in that they produce very little bone marrow depression and are routinely used in cancer chemotherapy, mostly in combination with radiotherapy or other chemotherapeutic agents. The figure shows the structures of bleomycins. About 16 bleomycin glycopeptide antibiotics are discovered so far and they all differ each other at R groups. Within the bleomycin molecule, there are three distinct regions which are believed to contribute to its mechanism of action. First, the heterocyclic bithiazole moiety shown on top right is thought to interact with DNA. Electrostatic attraction of the highly basic sulfonium ion to the phosphate residues in DNA stabilizes the adduct. Once bound, the second domain shown top left which consists of a beta hydroxyhistidine and a beta amino alanine and a pyrimidine forms an iron 2 complex which interacts with oxygen to generate free radicals leading to single and double strand breaks. Currently, it is not clear whether the activation of this complex is self-initiating or the result of the enzyme catalysis. 
The third region of bleomycin, C bottom left, is glycopeptidic in nature and while having no direct anti-tumor activity of its own, may contribute to drug uptake by tumor cells or provide additional stabilizing hydrogen bonding interactions with DNA or associated histone proteins. Bleomycin in combination with cisplatin or etoposide is important as part of the potentially curative combination chemotherapy of advanced testicular carcinomas. It is useful against squamous cell carcinomas of the head and neck, cervix and skin. It is used in standard regimens for the treatment of Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. Unlike most anti-cancer drugs, it is only slightly myelosuppressive and dose-limiting toxicity is confined to the skin, mucosa and lungs. These are the sources of this lecture. With this, we end the topic of antibiotic antineoplastic agents. In the next lesson, we discuss the plant products that act as antineoplastic agents. Till then, keep learning and keep watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.